So it looks thick, but it's actually pretty lightweight, I would say. Yeah. What do you think? It's very soft, very moussey. Moussey. Yeah. Agreed. So as I said at the beginning of the Project Soapway kickoff challenges thing, there are going to be some videos and some sudsers that I have to sort of mentally prepare for because they mean so much to me within the community. And you've seen that happen, you know, a lot of times, really. And I know that there might be people out there that just think that's annoying and, you know, hey, soap person, stop crying. But A, that's just part of who I am and whatever. So no. And two, I am genuinely like, I don't know, humbled, I guess, by the number of people that have been here since day one and have stuck around and have become just like mainstays in my life. Because when I started the channel standing in my kidlet's bathtub three years ago in the height of or the beginning stages of COVID, I didn't know what was going to happen. I, I didn't know it was possible to have this kind of community. And just by, you know, nature of me being me and standing in a bathtub and being awkward and, you know, teaching because I love to teach and do the things and just talking about the, my soapy journey, I was gifted this like incredible group of humans that, that connect somehow to, to me and, you know, are okay with me being awkward and standing in my bathtub and all of the things. And I didn't know that when I started. And every time I think about it, it's just like, wow, you know, because there are people who have been here since the very beginning and have become so important in my life and have actually been the ones that have created this community of really thoughtful and logical and rational and scientific and kind and respectful people. It's wild. And I had no way of knowing this is the point. And the actual, I guess, real point is today's uh, Project Soapway winner is one of those people that have been around like since the beginning. And she has always been such a big source of positivity and just shining light and guidance and helpfulness. She has it in her. You can just tell based on her cadence and her voice and her everything that she is, that she's like a natural teacher, you know? You can also see it within all of the assistance that she gives to everyone within the Discord and, uh, you know, everywhere, just generally in life. She's a really excellent human. And, and it's absolutely mind-boggling to me to think that, you know, she's been here for like three years and she's not tired of me. It's incredible. And so, yeah, those things are going to happen because it is not something I ever take for granted that you're here. And you... anyway, I'm going to I'm going to stop with the rambling and the uh, trying to not cry thing, because I know that some people don't like it, which is like, again, please just stop watching my videos if you're not OK with that, because I am not changing. I've never been good on the whole, like, let's put on a mask for the people's type thing. So it's not going to change. Just please go. But um, for those who are okay with it, please stay because I want to introduce you to the second Project Soapway winner for the lotion challenge. And I will do that in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And you are here for week 18 of year three, Project Soapway Challenge number six, winner number two. Still a lot of numbers. 
And today we are introducing and showcasing Nasreen, who is the owner, founder, maker extraordinaire of Extant Goods. And first up off the bat right now, like just pause the video, go over to her Instagram. It's linked in the description. It's linked in the pinned comment. It's on the screen somewhere here and go give her a follow because last I checked, you know, like an hour ago, she had exactly six followers over there on the Insta and it would just make my little heart swell 14 sizes if we could get her a whole bunch more before the end of this video because she's awesome and she just recently decided that she was going to turn her soap making hobby into a soap making business. And I really like the reasons behind the why, for what she did with that. So first up, Nasreen is very smart. And again, she's very kind and she's just very like compassionate. And you can see that in the way that she interacts with the other humans on the Discord. And you also get to see it with how she interacts with her mom in this video because she was kind enough to allow me to use some audio in a portion of all of this while she and her mother are testing the lotion. She's just an incredibly special human being and I'm very, very glad that she won this particular Project Soapway Challenge and it makes sense that she did. She has a very scientific approach to the soap making and the cosmetics making process, which I really appreciate. But she also has a really good mind for business and also just a whole lot of like self-reflection and a self-awareness because probably like so many of us, she has a lot of hobbies. And one of the hobbies she had for a very long time was metalworking jewelry making and she had decided some time ago to turn that into a business and no longer found it fun and during that time where she's running the business and doing all of the jewelry things she also started doing all the soapy things and decided that she would rather turn the soapy hobby into her business and keep the jewelry making for herself for a number of different reasons there are a lot of different dynamics though they're still maker related both of these spaces there's a different audience. There's a different sort of expectation from your client base. There's different requests that are going to come in and that can be a lot to manage. And so she decided that this soapy journey was going to be the one that she wanted to undertake. She's like a brand new in the whole thing, doing all of that. I don't have a link to her website. I'm not sure she has a website. If you do, please let me know. We will pin it in the comments and put it in the description along with everything else. And if she does let us know go check out her website but she does have her instagram as i said go like it go do the things and today we are going to be talking about her lotion and her lotion formulation and i really enjoyed this particular lotion recipe for a lot of reasons one was the simplicity two was that she was also using some infusions and so i was intrigued to know more about you know her actual vision with all of this and why she decided on the ingredients that she did within this. And so that's what we all get to see today. So we're going to get to the video. As I said, her mom is in the video at some point and it's delightful. It's just, it's everything. And I am really excited for you guys to see it. And also I'm excited for this to no longer be on my face because I am, I'm all up in the feels. It's a thing. So we're going to go to the video and we will check out Extent Goods and her very beautiful, awesome lotion. Okay, so today here we are with Nasreen of Extant Goods, and we are focusing on her lotion recipe as she was a winner of Project Soapway Challenge number six. And so she has a lot of really interesting things going on within this recipe. One of the things she has going on is a guava leaf tea infusion, which I really, really dig because guava leaf has some really cool skin benefits in that it's anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and it can help out with, you know, sort of inflammation. And then also the alkanet infusion that she has going on is going to serve really two functions. A, it is going to color your lotion naturally, which is cool, but alkanet topically is also, you know, anti-inflammatory. And it's also, I think, if I remember right, it helps out with like skin healing. And so I think those are really cool additions for that because again, when we have a leave-on product, we definitely want to be upping the awesome of the skin benefits with it, even though we can't really talk about what those skin benefits are because then, you know, we're making like drug claims. You know what I mean? She also has a dragon fruit extract in all of this. 
You also saw that she has the glycerin slash glycerite because she is doing infusions. And so we talked about, you know, yesterday about the infusions that Kimberly was doing. We've got more infusions going on today. Realistically, what we have with this is an 80-20 lotion recipe. So 80% of her liquid phase and 20% of her oils and butters. And her oils and butters that she's using for this recipe are pretty simple. We have grapeseed at 10% and shea butter at 6%. And then the emulsifying wax is making up that remaining 4% within the oils and butters phase. And I really enjoy this. A simple recipe using smart infusions, thoughtful infusions, and not a million ingredients can produce a lovely lotion. And that's true of everything that we make, right? You don't have to have a million ingredients in anything to make it really, really special. By being thoughtful about, you know, the oils and butters that you're selecting, as well as the infusions and all the extra extracts and all the awesome, you can create a lovely recipe of anything without being overly expensive or complicated or, you know, something where you have to source some really strange things. So within this recipe, she is making this for herself. This is for personal use. So this is why she is using this container and also why you may or may not see her with gloves on. But because Nazreen is deciding to start the soapy business and, you know, take this from hobby stage to, you know, business stage. She will, of course, be gloved and does all of the things for her actual products that she sells, keeping everything, you know, pristine. But again, this is personal use, so nobody come after that because that would be super weird. Her hands being out does actually allow us to check out this really beautiful ring that she has on her finger, and I think she made it. And the reason why I think she made it is because... She used to do metalworking as a hobby, which she really enjoyed, and then realized that, okay, I'm going to turn it into a business, and she lost the joy that comes from the art of making, you know, jewelry or whatever once she turned it into a business. And since we are all very aware in the Sudzer community that we should be seeking joy, right? One of our favorite Sudzers is named Seek Joy. She decided to go back to the hobby phase of this, with the metalworking and take her hobby of soap making into the business realm because she found that to be more interesting and less stressful and an easier path essentially for her headspace to go the soaps and cosmetic route. I really love that she has a strong enough sense of self that she can make those decisions and dial one thing back and promote another for the business when she needs to. Okay, and a bit more about this recipe, you know, while we see the mixy mix phase. I selected this recipe because I really, well, two reasons, really. Because I enjoyed the simplicity of it, because it is a rather simple recipe. Again, there's not a lot of, you know, fancy ingredients that go into this, but there were thoughtful infusions. And she also had the wherewithal about her to realize that, Sometimes oils and butters and overloading your skin with oils and butters is not the right path when you're looking for moisturization. Now, the reason for that, I think because of her thoughtfulness, well, I mean, she's a she's a really smart person generally. So, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why she made those connections. And the first one is because smart. But secondly, she lives in a desert climate and she, you know, therefore has to exist with the dry skin and all of the, you know, effects of the world around her. And because of that, she decided to keep it simple with a lightweight grapeseed and, you know, a deeper penetrating shea, but really wanted to focus on the glycerin, the glycerite with this infusion from her guava leaf in order to make this a humectant lotion. So it will keep your moisture, you know, in your skin as well as draw moisture to it from whatever you can get in a very arid climate. And I really enjoyed that logical and thoughtful approach to actually formulating a lotion and including the glycerin for this reason specifically. And in, in reality, we also saw that a lot with Kimberly's infusion as well with her glycerite. And we will see that with tomorrow's Project Soapway winner as well. All three of these winners had really good approaches to the formulation that will yield a superior lotion. And I think that that's important because there is a difference between making a DIY lotion, right? And making something special that can be sold that has a benefit. And I loved that Nasreen did this as well as Kimberly. 
as well as tomorrow's winner, and you don't know them yet, so you're just going to have to wait. And I am very interested in actually trying this uh, particular lotion because Nasreen did the guava leaf infusion, and I've never played with guava leaf. She actually has a guava leaf tree in her yard. Well, maybe it's just a guava tree. I'm not clear on the details, but I think that that's so cool, and I just want to go visit. Like, I... So many of you have such cool locations and fun stuff in your yard and all the things. I just want to just do like a worldwide tour and go say hi to all the Sudzers and have a bunch of long pond sessions, you know, soapy style in your areas so I can visit your guava trees and your clematis fields and, you know, all the cool stuff. Like the last place that I'm going to go is to Nasreen's house because right after that, we're all going to get on a plane and go on her vacation adventure travels to Asia because... That is the only continent with the exception of Antarctica that she has not visited. And she's currently scheming as to where she wants to focus her efforts in Asia, which I'm like, hey, take me along for that. I think she'd be fun to travel with because as helpful and informative as she is with all of the Discord posts all of the time, very helpful with all the packaging and all of the formulation tips. Like she is always there, such a shining bright light of just cool information, you know? I feel like she could teach me about everywhere that we would travel together. And that would be, you know, cool. Because I like learning. Take me with you, is what I'm saying. That would be cool. But anyway, now that this has been mixed up and she has everything in her container and ready to firm up, cool down, do all the things, we are going to go on to the test of the lotion. But she actually had her mom come in and assist with the testing. And it was such a delightful Q&A that I had my soap mod ask her if it was okay to use this footage, like the actual audio, and to ask her mom to, because I thought it was just so heartwarming, and I just cried thinking about what a cool relationship they must have, just based on the interaction that I saw, you know, within the, the testing bit. And so you get to experience that amazing treat as well. This is the lotion I've roped my very kind mom in to give us a little bit of a demonstration. So go ahead, mom. You can put it over there. It's in your way. All right. So you can use a spoon or you can use your hands, whatever you prefer. Do you hear like the little bit of popping of the bubbles? It's foamy. Yeah, it's foamy. Okay. So... Go ahead and take some out and put, them on, put it on your hands and let's see how it feels. So it looks thick, but it's actually pretty lightweight, I would say. Yeah. What do you think? It's very soft, very moussey. Moussey. Agreed. Agreed. It goes on very well. Feels light. It looks really thick. Like if you yeah. put this upside down, yeah. you would be worried that it would be really heavy. But it's interesting because it's it's not that it's not heavy at all. I would say. What about you? Yeah, it's not heavy at all. It's not greasy. Mm -hmm. It's not too too light. Mm -hmm. Feels amazing. Great. And as a person who has smells good, dry to normal skin, mm. like your skin is mostly normal with little little bit of dryness. Mm. Does this feel heavy? No. Like if you think Nyla, like if. If, who has more oily skin. She doesn't find that it's too heavy. No. I mean, she's told me that. I don't know why I'm asking you. <laughs> As if you, she told you, but she told me. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. Do you want to try? Yeah. I'll hand you the... If you move your hands in a little bit, that'd be great. It is a little white, but you did put a lot. I did put a lot. So I think if you put it a little more sparingly, it'd be less white. Mm. Are you going to try it that way? I'll try it. Let's see. Maybe it's more white than I thought. Maybe it's a little heavier than I thought. Okay. My turn. Let's try. So I do think it's like really soft and like kind of silky. It doesn't have that oily or cream, creamy feel that I feel like I have like made a heavier lotion. cream. Yeah. It's more lotiony. It's more lotiony. Even though it looks like a cream. It looks like a cream, but it's lotiony. I think you could definitely put it in a squeeze bottle. Yeah. You know? Yes. Tube, maybe? Like a tube? Mm. Like the ones where you pop 
pop the top off and push the... Mm, it'll yeah. be perfect. Yeah. I don't think it could go through a pump. I think it's too... It's really soft and silky, I would say. Mm. That's my view on it. Okay, so... That's our breakdown of this. I think it's really good for body. I think most people wouldn't really want it on their face. It is a little bit tacky, but it dries up pretty quick in my experience. I haven't tested it, so... Okay. I was gonna put my hand oh, between yes. yours. Excellent. <laughs> and for this next clip, you are going to get me again. Sorry about it. But this was a clip where she was showing the whippy, moussey consistency of the lotion and doing a final test. But during that, she was saying nice things about me and the community that we've all built that she's been, you know, a part of since the beginning. And it felt weird to leave that in. But I guess since I'm talking about it right now, it's like I left it in. So sorry about it. But, you know, thank you. Th thank you for being a part of this community and being so helpful and thoughtful and just amazing within this maker space and uh, all, all of the things, all of the feels. Also, d did everybody else just like die when you saw the hands together and everything? I loved that. I think that generational hands and just the, the uh, it's very, it's very powerful image. And so I'm very glad that you gave that to us. And thank you for sharing your lotion recipe with us. Thank you for sharing you with this community. I appreciate you. And I know so, so many of the Sudzers do as well. And there it is, Nasreen and her absolutely awesome lotion. First up, I really love that consistency, how whippy and mousse-like it is. And also, as you know, she pointed out with her mom, it looks very dense. She turned it over in the container and nothing fell out. So you would expect that it would be almost body butter in consistency. But as they both discussed within the testing of the lotion, that's not what they got. They got a very lightweight penetrating lotion with that beautiful glycerite in inclusion. So it's acting as a humectant and really locking in all the skin's natural moisture. So it's very amazing. And I thought that that was delightful. The testing bit with her mom, I loved that. There, as I said, there's something so powerful about the imagery of, you know, generational hands next to each other. And it's beautiful to see a piece of the relationship that she has with her mother. And I can tell it's an amazing one just based on what she let us see. So thank you, both of you, for letting us see that. I really appreciate that. Thank you for letting me share that piece with the world you know, through this channel and this platform. Thank you for being you and thank you for being a Sudzer and thank you for being my friend. Thank you for the nice things that you said about me. For the Sudzers, uh, she called me a delight and I cried. The theme, I guess, of today is, hey, I'm going to cry. So there's that. As I said, I'm always blown away by the Sudzer community and the humans that are here and exist. And Serena is one of them. And I am so glad that that she wants to be here. Like, it's crazy. You guys are wild. I don't, there, there is no part of me that will ever just get used to this, but I don't have to get used to it. What I do have to do is, you know, tell Nasreen again, thank you for sharing all of this. Congratulations on the win. You deserved it. Thank you for sharing this with us. Everybody, all the Sudzers, this big, awesome community that we have, go give her all of the love. Again, on the Instagram for now, for sure, but if there's a website or anything that comes up as a result of the premiere or whatever, we'll immediately pin it and go show her some love on her website. If you order some product, I really want to try that lotion because it looks delightful. And yes, so um, I'm going to go because I have successfully managed to not actually cry, you know, in front of you that I wasn't able to cut out. So I'm going to count that as a win and head out. So I'm going to do that. Uh, thank you again for joining me. Sudzers, of course, big extra special thank you for you. Again, probably, I've probably said it a billion times. I'm sorry. I, I like you, you know? Uh, for those of you who aren't subscribed, this is me all the time. So uh, don't subscribe if you're not okay with it, you know? But if you do subscribe, you will be notified when I put up the video for the third and final Project Soapway Challenge number six winner, you know, tomorrow. So that's fun, and that's something to look forward to. 
and I'm certainly looking forward to it, but that's tomorrow. So in order to get to tomorrow, I got to leave for now, today. Time needs to keep moving. That's how that works. So I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of Project Soapway Lotion-y fun. Bye.